right, so here's the uh, death army I'll be running today. Uh, leading the army will be a aberrant ghoul king on Terrorgeist. Uh, he is also the only hero, so he is taking the artifact. Uh, the artifact is the cursed book, which uh, gives minus one to hit for all enemy all units within three inches of him, including friend, but unless they have the death keyword, which we all do. So just enemies for today. Then I have three units of ten uh, zombies. There's a banner in each one. Yeah. And then I have a unit of nine cryptors. Uh, this dude with the uh, skulls on his spike, he's the haunter. But uh, that's just a unit of Kratoris. And that's my 1,000 points. All right, so Chris, what are you bringing to this 1,000 point game? So I have my uh, general, who's just a battle mage. Um, he's going to be tenacious, which is plus one wound. And he's going to have the phoenix gem, which uh, increases uh, one wound in every hero phase. Okay. I just don't want him to die. I was kind of worried that we'd be playing uh, the, the character mission. Three places of power, but we're not, so that's pretty good. I got two units of liberators here, standard uh, sword and axe, uh, sorry, sword and ham, sorry, hammer and shield guys from the starter set. Three units of adjudicators, which are archers. Then I have two units of um, prosecutors, and they do have the trident on the sergeant, which is a really nice piece of kit. For 80 points, you can't go wrong for a three unit, three man unit. Yeah, I remember watching a bat rep, and these guys are kind of hardcore, so. They're pretty good for their price, like, they only two wounds a pop. They reroll once to save, but they dish a lot of damage at range, uh, mainly the the uh, the prime there in the unit, because that trident's pretty nasty. And he gets to shoot twice with it. I remember in that bat rep that uh, Karen Wraith killed all three of them, though. <laughs> <laughs> okay, cool. That's 1,000 points of Stormcast Eternals. All right, so we're playing uh, mission one, which is take and hold. Uh, basically, this is a deployment going this way and uh, there's two objectives in the middle of the board on each side and nine inches in on each side. Mine is there and Chris's is right there and the objective is to hold both. If you can, turn three and onwards or else goes to kill like victory, victory points. points yeah. yeah. So that's the mission. Um, we're going to set up and deploy now and then uh, we're going to get started. So uh, we finished deployment. Um, I set up all my ghouls here out zombies, of sight. Zombies. Sorry, zombies. Yeah, out of uh, out of sight and hopefully range of all his archers. Um, they're probably going to join into one unit in my first turn. My crypt horrors and my uh, terror guys with the king on it is stood up right at the front line. And uh, Chris has deployed. Yeah, so I kind of spread my stuff out in a line. Yeah, I put the uh, you know the fast moving stuff on the flanks. I put the archers kind of in the middle so I could kind of work around these rocks and get some good shots. And of course I need to engage with my fighting unit, his fighting unit. So I kind of went for that. We might engage in the middle pretty hard, which a lot of people criticize the game for, but that's just the way this scenario is with the two objectives. That's how you would envision a fantasy battle, like a battle in the old days. <laughs> yeah. And I'm actually 20 points under Darren. Okay. I believe it's 20 or 10 anyway. So I get a triumph. So I get a four. I can reroll all the failed wound rolls for um, one unit in one combat phase. Okay. This game. Uh, your combat or my combat doesn't matter. Yeah, just one combat phase. One of my units rerolls to wound. Okay. Cool. So um, I deploy first, so I get to choose if I go first or go second, and uh, I'm going to go second. All right. So here we are at Stormcast Eternal's hero phase, turn one. Yeah, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to make this unit here immune to battle shock from okay. my general, yep. Inspiring Presence. Mm -hmm. um, since he's a wizard, he's also going to cast a plus one armor save so on that unit. Mystic Shield. Mystic Shield from the standard rule book. Let's get yep. in there. Get them on. Goes off. Yep. So they now have plus one armor save. Cool. And they're immune to battle shock. And that's it for my abilities because I only really have the one character. Okay. Well, we'll go uh, straight on to movement phase, and uh, we'll come back after All movement. Right. So end of Stormcast uh, movement phase. What's going on here, Chris? So I moved and ran them up. Okay. Moved and ran him up. Moved and ran them up. That's a thing, eh? Is it's not like Asriel's uh, helmet bearer? <laughs> no, he's just a dog. <laughs> okay. Bunch. And then I moved, actually, my line of troops somewhat back. Okay. Um, and so my goal, giving away my secrets, is they're buffed up. Um, Darren has a potential to double turn, so I want to get as close as possible so that 
he moves up, hits, and then maybe I'll tie him there and then I'll be able to engage him with my army. Okay. So I'm kind of using them as a speed bump. It's not an ideal unit to use a speed bump, but we're trying it out. And that's it. So Okay, uh, so I guess right most of them ran, eh? Yeah, so the only uh, shooting I have archers. is my three archer units with yep. 24 inches. Okay. And sadly, these two back units here are out. It's just this one unit up here that's in. And it's actually, yeah, it looks like that's on his base, so it looks like they're all in. Okay. So they get four regular shots, three plus. Ouch. Missed. If you were Chaos, I would get to reroll those, but you're not. Then the sergeant hits on two. He's got a special bow that becomes D6 wounds. So I would add... Um, it, it's basically the same as their bows, it's just it adds six shots. So because he hit and I rolled a six, he gets six to mm -hmm. wound. Then I wound on a three plus, which is really awesome. So then you would take Any rend? rend one, rend one, seven armor saves. Okay. And so they have a four plus. Yeah. Three. Did you confirm that? Or? Six, seven. I'm, I'm doing that by memory, but I believe they have a four plus. So, uh, Crypt Horrors, we'll just confirm, uh, 5 plus save. 5 plus, so that's actually goes yeah. to a 6 up. 5 plus save, and uh, so it goes to 6 up, and then they get the Deathless Minions, and then... Uh, they don't get them it. all. Because you gave me first turn, you haven't activated your command ability. Yeah. So you only actually get the one for being within range of your general. Yeah, the Deathless Minions. So you get a 6 up, yeah, and the other one's up. an ability, so. Uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Oh, not bad actually. That's not bad at all. <laughs> six up. It was six up because you have a five up safe and I'm running one. Okay, and now then, you get your five. Now up. I got my deathless minions. That was really good. Oh, that's pretty good. So six two wounds, wounds, and I think they are four wounds each. Yeah, and you can take them on any model you want. Yep. But once a model's wounded, you have to kill him. Yep. So, well, so you, can phase, you take it on so these guys even yes. though they weren't in range? Yes. You okay. can take it way back in the corner to do whatever you want. All right. I'm gonna use my green dice for wound counters in a second. But yep, there we go. Okay. That was some pretty decent saving. I spanned all my dice rolls at the beginning. And that's actually it. They're the only unit in range. Okay. So now we go on to death's turn two. All right. Yeah, because there's no assaults. Death turn one. Uh, sorry, death turn one. Yeah. Uh, I don't need to take battle shot because nobody died. Yep. So uh, that's it. Yeah. So we'll go on to death turn one. All right. Death turn one hero phase. Uh, so in the hero phase, I can join the uh, zombies into a unit. Um, I think these guys may be out of range of joining. Okay, so we checked. So in fact, they had to be within one inch. So these guys are left out, and these guys have joined into a big group of twenty zombies. All and you right. can you can just take it, man. Just take it. All right. Well, this is my first game. Longer. We're okay. going to be like doing that. Yeah. So okay. we understand they have to be. They have to be inch. within one inch. Of all any units that are all within one inch of each other can join into one big unit. So. Yeah. So cool. we just we'll just we'll just fudge that. Uh, the other thing that happens in hero phase is Cryptors heal a wound automatically. So this guy heals one wound. He's just fine, I'll just cast a spell that I'm going to cast Unholy Vitality, which will give uh, any units, a unit within 18 inches, the extra 5 plus uh, extra save on any wound suffered. So that is a casting cost of 6. So here we go. Which unit are you putting it on? Uh, horrors. All right. Oh, so they're going to have 3 saves now. Alright, so sure, I'll give these guys uh, immune to battle shock then. So the Crypt Horrors are tooled up, immune to battle shock. Healing themselves, extra 5 plus save, and uh, so we're done in the hero phase. So we're going to go on to movement and come back at the end of movement phase. Alright, so uh, shooting phase for death, I'm going to use the uh, whatever. So he's going aggressive, he's moving uh, right at me. Death shriek on this, whatever that is, dog. Greyhound. <laughs> Greyhound. Greyhound. So 6 plus d6 because he's got full wounds. So that's he nine. Three wounds. So three wounds. Oh, because he's bravery six, and so Darren's ability affects your bravery, not yeah. your. Uh, so I bet I believe he is dead. He's gone. All right. And those are mortal wounds, correct? Yeah, mortal wounds. Yeah. <laughs> My little doggy. He's not seven. <laughs> uh, okay, I have no other shooting. Uh, that's actually his like first game ever on the table. And that's actually the first turn. thing I've ever killed in AOS. And you killed my dog. And I killed the dog. Don't report me. <laughs> okay, so uh, we're gonna declare some charges. He's going to charge. So he can he, he doesn't have to have charged the thing he shot or nope. anything like that. You, and actually, the beauty of AOS is you roll your charge. I don't even have to say who I'm charging. So you roll your charge and then you measure the distance. Yeah. and You make contact with. Which and there's you no want. Overwatch or anything. So it's like no. There's no downside to just like rolling. All right, here we go. I That's was seven. You the same as me, which is so. Uh, Chris, you measure that. Am I within yeah. seven? Oh God, yeah, he's five inches. Yeah. Okay. 
Uh, so he's gonna go down there, like on the side. Kaka! Boom. And these guys uh, are gonna also declare a charge. I guess you want to touch me. So nine. That should be enough. Yep. So you want to just bring them in? Sure. Let me help you. Yeah. We'll move them so in and come, come back there. in combat. All right. So actually, I'm going to attack with my Crypt Horrors first. Yeah, because um, it's uh, yeah. Darren's turn, he gets to choose which unit strikes first. Yeah. So you're nominating your Crypt Horrors. Yeah. So, so they would pile in three inches. So yeah. of course, uh, he can get into base, so he oh, he would pile in. Pile yeah. in. Uh, these guys These guys are kind of stuck, actually. It sucks, too, because he's only uh, Darren's only a one-inch range. Yeah. And these bases are more than an inch, so he can only fight. In the f so those three guys in the back can't fight, basically. Yeah. Okay, uh, so there's four attacks from the uh, Haunter, who's kind of like the Sergeant, and then the rest are three attacks. So I've counted all the dice here already. They hit on fours. I'm going to roll these in two batches. Here we go. Gee. That's not too bad. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. Uh, we roll uh, failed hits, I believe, when they're next to yep, the Gulkin. A, a we roll all failed hits. Yep. yep, that's their special ability. That was one dice there. Yeah, that one was a four. Yeah. Not too bad. Not too shabby. <laughs> okay, three plus the wound. And sixes do... Sixes do three uh, wounds instead of two. Okay. So take out all... All right, so there's two that do three wounds. Okay, and, and then so I buff them. Wounds. So I, have, I actually have a three plus rerolling one. So this is for the sixes. I'm good, and then I have to make three, six, nine. That do two wounds. So a guy dies if I fail any of these. Uh, so I lose three models. Okay. Okay, and then it'll be Chris's turn. And I was very deliberate to make sure that I leave the guy, actually. The guy in contact with the uh, with the dragon. I'm gonna change my mind. Um, yeah. So I'm gonna. So, so he's not technically in combat anymore. He's not in combat anymore. Yeah. Nice. So yeah. So you can choose who you want to remove from anywhere in the unit. So that can be a very strategic decision sometimes. Yeah. Part of me wants to tie him down, but then the other part of me is like. I'll tie them down, and if you get the double turn, you're gonna come in and kill a unit or two, but then I'll get to counter you. So yeah, it's it's a tough call, but yeah, I think I'm gonna disengage him from combat. I would have, and to be honest, guys, I would have killed my sergeant if I had to, and kept the two guys over here alive because it's better off they don't die and they tie up your unit. Yeah. Okay, so now um, I activate my unit. Yep. Uh, he has three attacks. He has two. Four plus two hits. One wound. One wound. All right. Uh, any rend? Uh, no rend. No rend. Okay. So four plus save, and he makes it. Yeah. So I do nothing. He can't strike. Combats no. are over. Now we go into the battle shock phase. So you guys are immune to battle shock. They are immune. Yeah. Normally I would have to roll. Um, for, I would have normally lost two models there, but. Uh, yep. Okay. Actually, so I wouldn't have. Uh, yeah, I would have lost two models. Yeah. So. Yeah. Okay. So uh, that's the end of death. Uh, Turn one, we're gonna now roll off to see who gets to go next. No double turn for Darren. No uh, double turn for Darren. Three. Uh -oh. three roll. No double turn for Darren. Yeah! Oh, <laughs> so you know a lot of people complain, well, mostly coming from 40k, they complain about this random uh, possible like double turn thing, but I think it's actually A, it adds a layer of strategy to what you do every turn, and B, it's kind of exciting. Well, it pays <laughs> off now that I, I sacrifice them because that keeps them out of the game. The, the wicked thing, so this is a, in 40K they have random game length, um, and for that reason, they need, like, because in 40K I always go second, let's say, and I know that I'm ending the game, we need random game length, so that I, I don't, like, you know, just wait till turn six, jump yeah, on yeah. the objectives, or turn five. Yeah. In Age of Sigmar, you don't know who's gonna end the game, so we're actually gonna end on turn five automatically. Yeah. So it, it's kind of just, it's a different mechanic, but yeah. it's kind of thing. And the best part is, now Darren can't get another double turn until I get a double turn. Yeah. So it, it does kind of even out, but you do have to plan for it. And I, I feel like I planned for it okay. Yeah. But Okay. 
uh, hero phase. So in the hero phase, another wound healed yep. by that guy. So it couldn't hurt you. So uh, they're at full strength. And the awesome part is, is that's basically their abilities all stay off. They all, so they're immune to battle shock plus one save right now. Yeah. So it's they great. They stay until your your next turn, basically. Yeah. Um, and then the other, uh, I will make uh, them immune to battle shock again. Okay. With my command ability, because I can't do anything else. And then uh, I will cast Deathless Minions, uh, not Deathless Minions, um, uh, Unholy Vitality. Um, okay. I can cast it on himself, can I? I believe so, yes. Yeah. Okay, he's going to cast it on himself. Uh, six. Succeeds. Uh, yep. Do you have um, someone who can deny me? I actually do have a wizard within range to okay. deny. Okay, so you need to roll more than eight. No. Ooh. Okay, so he has more saves. Okay, so we'll go on to a moving phase, and we'll uh, so moving phase. The um, the terror guys has come down this way, so I have a choice of things I can do. I want to stay within ten uh, of these guys, so they can still so fifteen of these guys, so they can reroll hits. These guys can't move because they're stuck, and my ghouls are staying back here. Zombies, zombies. So I'm going to go right on to uh, shooting phase, and I'm going to do my um, uh, terror shriek move. I think I'm going to do it on the. Archers. Shoot the Kitos? Yeah. Uh, I'm out of range of those guys, otherwise I'd want to hit these winged guys, but I'm going to shoot the adjudicators. Here we go. Oh, seven. So yeah, I, just, I so still, take, still take one wound. Uh, where's mine? Okay, straight on to uh, charge phase then. The uh, Aberrant King is going. He rolls 12. So, that gets me anywhere I need to go. Just out of... Yeah, that I'm out of range of those guys, but I want to stay within 15 of these guys. So the question is, do I charge archers, these hammer dudes, or those archers and sit on the objective as well? But and Darren has to be careful yeah. because when he charges the archers, he has to make sure to keep out of three inches of this unit Otherwise, unless he wants to fight. Unless you want to fight too. Yeah. Uh, which I can't because I can split all my attacks any way I want, right? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. That just tie them up as well. Um, and you can still shoot when you're in combat, so it doesn't really, so it's not like 40k where if you, you shoot the shooty units that they can't shoot you, they can still shoot you. <laughs> yeah, well the sh my shooting is better than my combat with these yeah. units. Yeah. Okay, so you know what I'm going to do, uh, actually I think I'm going to charge and tie up both units, but I'm going to try and kill your archers first. Yeah, so if you're, you can be on the border of three inches. Yeah. And that way you minimize the attacks I have coming in at you. So you're just within three. Okay. And then I can pile in three inches, but yeah. that also that just means basically that I'm getting one guy in. Yeah. Whereas if you go in over here, you're fighting guys. all my guys. Yeah. So no, I think that's a smarter that's a good option. Because I had twelve, so I had lots of mo movement there. To, to well, you only needed like a three to get yeah. even this Trixie. So you're still in there. Okay. Okay. So I've actually chosen to, to activate my Crypt Horse first because I want to finish these guys off before they can strike. And I think these guys, he'll only be able to be hit by the archers who are not combat oh, one guy people, here. and maybe one of those guys if Triss chooses to activate one guy first. So I think he's fairly safe, so I'm going to actually activate these guys first. So they got their boatload of attacks here. I'm going to roll them separately again, hitting on fours uh, with re-rolls. Just do them all. You got to re-roll that one too there. You didn't roll Oh, I didn't roll that one. Gone for rerolls. Yeah, that's much uh, worse than last turn. <laughs> yeah, last turn I kind of killed that roll. You missed a two again. Yeah. There you go. Not that much better. Well, it's it's pretty good. Not bad. I don't. I only have to I kill two guys. Odds. Yeah. Okay. So three plus to wound. Six is doing extra wound. So one six. So one six. I'm good. And uh, four, eight, nine, nine normal wounds. So it doesn't matter because you kill the unit. Okay. Cool. So those cryptors have succeeded. So now it's Chris's turn. I would say that my liberators have succeeded in tying them down. That's true. Okay. I could be wrong. I'm just being. <laughs> <laughs> I think these juices my... have uh, have empty. <laughs> I'm gonna activate my archers here. Okay. Uh, I'm just gonna do their four attacks. That was a cock die. Uh, one wound. 
Okay, so he's got any Ren? No. Okay, four plus save. Yep. Saves. Yeah. Okay, so now it's his turn. All right, so the king gets to attack. Five attacks, uh, hitting on threes. Actually, you have uh, minus one to hit. I didn't do anything to you. I know, but I just forgot. <laughs> <laughs> uh, there we go. And uh, wounding on threes, minus one rend. So that's three wounds, minus one rend. Uh, one damage each. So one guy dies. Okay. And next will be the Terror Geist's Claws, which do uh, at full, it's four, uh, four attacks. Hitting on fours. That's three hits. And wounding on threes. That's three, and they're minus one rend. Oh, I made two. D3 each. Okay, do D3. One wound. Woo. All right. And uh, finally, his Fang Maw is three attacks. Uh, hitting on force. And all missed, actually. Woohoo! Okay, yeah, I think that's it. So I have one unit left to activate. Mm hmm. And so I'll hit my one guy. Minus one oh, hit. Oh, I don't hit. I hit on fours and run through trees. Yeah. Okay, cool. So that's the end. Uh, there's no battle shock. So is that minus one to hit in combat only, or is it shooting as well? Uh, okay, yeah, so we confirmed that it is all hit rolls is affected by only units within three inches so of that model. Two yeah, units. yeah. Okay, so that's the end of uh, my turn two. So we're going to go on to um, uh, Stormcast turn two. Okay, so hero phase for uh, Stormcast turn two. Yeah, so. Oh, sorry. I got range there. So I'm going to actually make them immune to Battle Shock. Okay. And I'm going to. Oh, I have Battle Shock for them at the end of your turn. I'm good. Oh, they did lose a guy, yeah. Yeah, I'm going to make them immune to Battle Shock. I'm going to make. I'm going to do an Arcane Bolt on him. Does not go off. And that's it for my hero phase. Okay, that was uh, six, right? For Arcane Bolt? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, cool. Okay, so end of hero phase. We're gonna do look at three. movement really and I'll be back. All right, so movement phase here. Uh, these guys have moved up this way. These adjudicators are moved this way. Not They're not adjudicators. Prosecutors. Prosecutors. Well, those guys are adjudicators. They've moved they move there, back. so they can, uh, I guess, shoot at the zombie dragon. I'm gonna try to kill your zombie those dragon. Those guys move back. Those guys are in combat, and the wizard guy is still behind the rock. Okay, so we're on to shooting phase now. Here we go. So I did move there within 18. So. They're probably going to shoot first. I, th I think that's a smart move um, because they have no other targets if they don't. So my sergeant gets to shoot twice and he has a trident. So it's three plus three plus, rend one, damage two. So into him, nope. And then the other two guys, three plus. These are just two armor saves. Two armor saves? Four armor. Okay, four plus saves. Yeah. Uh, this unit will shoot him, my three archers. I uh, hit you on Minus fours. One. Nope. And then the sergeant hits you on threes. He does one. He does one wound to your four plus, five plus, and five plus. Oh no, he didn't get it. Uh, these guys had the unholy vitality. Yeah, so he took his wound. I can't remember what you did. Yeah, no, I cast it on the cryptors. Okay. Uh, no, no, I cast it on him. I think you did. Yeah, you? I did. Okay, so he saved the roll of six. Yep. Um, so this unit's going to shoot him as well. Okay. They hit full, and then the sergeant hits. He does one. So that'd be two wounds. Failed both. And failed both again. And takes one. Okay. And I'll do it again with my last unit. This is not going as planned. <laughs> no. <laughs> Nothing. And then the sergeant does five. Oops. Three wounds, four wounds, four wounds. Four plus, save one, five up, save two, five up, saves them all. Yep. Wow, 40k if you could get two feel no pains, that'd be pretty sick. <laughs> I think these guys are shooting ghouls. Yeah, I don't think I have range. Oh, yeah, there's zombies, range. man. So I got two zombies. of them have range. Sorry, so I got two of them have range. So the standard guy, three plus, three plus, nope. And the trident guy misses. What? So, uh, <laughs> that's it for my There's shooting. There's a fog of war today, I can't see. 
I guess. So we go into combat phase. I activate first. Okay. Um, I'm gonna actually activate this unit. You can get one more guy in. Well, I can get uh, two more two. guys in. So I'm gonna use six attacks. Minus one hit. Yeah, I suppose hit still. One wound. Saves. Yep. Then you get to activate uh, him. Okay, uh, so do I have to declare all my attacks how they split or do I do it as I go? Uh, I think you have to declare. Okay. It's not, I'm not 100% sure on that, but I think we should declare them. Okay. Okay, so I'm doing all the king's attacks on the uh, archers and I'm doing all the terror dice attacks on these dude dudes over there. Okay. So the king gets five attacks. Um, and they are hitting on threes. Oh, should we say my archers were red one, so you wouldn't have got your four up, but I don't think it mattered. It was a five up, five up, five up. I saved on the, on the five up, five up. Reg yeah. I'm just saying, just for the clarity of the video, people yeah. listening at home are like, oh, they're red one. Yeah, they okay. Are. Okay. So I only hit twice and wounds once. So that's minus one rend, one damage. Uh, yeah. Minus one rend, one damage on your archers. Okay. One takes a wound, so he's dead. Okay, and then uh, we have, uh, he's still at full, so four claws on the duders now. So these are a four and three. One. One, and that's minus one rend as well. So he fails. Okay, D3 wounds. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, three fanged maw, four and threes again. These are on the guys with shields? Yeah. Uh, not doing well this round. It's okay. And that's a wound. So that's minus one, minus two rend. Nope. And that's uh, D6 wounds. Woo! Three. Three. So one guy and then uh, another guy. All right. Uh, and that's the only combat actually, right? Okay. Uh, battle shock for the yep. archers. So these guys lost two. Uh, they're immune though. You made them immune. Oh, I made them immune. So the archers, I'll keep the roll of five. They lost one dude, so they're fine. Okay. Okay, um, that's it. So, so priority for turn three. Here we go. Epic roll. Come on. Oh. Tied again. Four. Oh, oh I'm okay. Gonna take turn. I'm going to take it. Stormcast going again. So you have the choice of giving me that turn if you wanted to, right? Um, I think I need it. I think I need it. Yeah, but, but you, had, you could give it to me. I don't know why you would do that, but... Yeah, I don't think so. Unless you wanted to plan for a double turn, a turn later, but that doesn't seem like a smart thing to do generally. I'm going to make, um, I'm going to do the same thing again. Make them immune to battle shock okay. and arcane bolt your terror geist. Goes off. Uh, am I, can I deny? Yes, you can. Uh, I'm within range, right? Oh yeah. So I need to roll more than six. That's Boom. a scatter die. Oh, that's a scatter die. I thought it was a six. <laughs> oh! D3 mortal wounds! What are the chances? One mortal wound. Alright, um... So you still get your five. I get my death of save, yeah. Saves. Jerk. <laughs> <laughs> Movement phase, uh, those guys are in combat. Those guys are lined up at the back. Yeah, so I've just shuffled back. Because I just need one model within six to counter you. But I do actually still score this objective because I have five. So... I'm going to bump up. Now I'm going to shoot everything into him. Yeah, so these guys have moved up. Because they're going to shoot the zombies. zombies. Because I can see all the zombies on the side there and there. Yeah. So I'm going to start ticking away at them. Okay, so... Uh, shooting. So yeah, these shoot. archers here, two regular dudes on fours. Uh, one minus hit. one hit. Well, it's three yeah. normally. Sergeant on twos, but he misses. And then I do no wounds. This unit of archers on him. Two hits. And then the sergeant hits. Does three, so that should be five to wound rolls. So three saves on him at rend one, so five up, five up, five up. Five up, five up, five up. It's one, it's two. Ah. All right, takes two wounds. Your team will do the same thing. Yep. Sergeant misses. Nothing. Uh, the fire unit there will shoot your zombies. Two regular dudes, both miss. I am not hitting with any three pluses. <laughs> Sergeant uh, hits twice. That's awesome. Wounds once, so it's uh, you have no save yeah, anyway. No saves. So you just take two dead guys. Uh, uh, but they still. Oh no, they don't get the minions at all. Because yeah. they're not within. Uh, two dead guys. Yeah. Okay. 
Then the other unit will do the same thing. One hit, one wound from a regular dude. Doesn't matter, you have no save. Yeah. Then the sergeant, two hits. Two wounds would be nice. One wound, so it's two more dead. Okay. And uh, now we go on to combat phase. I'm gonna activate them first again. Okay. Minus one. Nothing. That's it? Yeah. Oh. That's all I got, man. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> all right. Uh, I'm putting uh, same thing: the king on the archers and the dragon on the on the. Uh, I not thought the I would have like I I thought with the double turn I would have like killed them or done damage. You've done you've done two wounds. <laughs> yeah, it's like like uh, fourteen. Yeah. 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 <laughs> all right. Uh, so king on the archers. Uh, that's a little bit not too good. Three plus the wound, one wound, minus one rend, one damage. Good! Okay. Uh, so the... Uh, just check in here again. Uh, so we still have full strength. Yep, yeah. so four claws. Four claws on the... Hammer Bros. And two, two wounds. That's two wounds. Minus one rend. Okay. This is on these guys? Yeah. Oh, two wounds. D3 yeah. each. Oh! Boom. Boom. <laughs> Alright, so I can't use his uh, other attacks then because they're done. Uh, for the way that we, that's how we played at the last tournament that okay. we that's fine. played. Now, maybe online people say, well, you don't do it that way. That's just what we've been playing house rule wise. So. Cool. I think that makes sense personally, but. Because all attacks, when you activate a unit, they all happen at the same time. So part of me is like, it doesn't. I don't know. Yeah, I don't think the rules specify anywhere exactly what you're supposed to do with that. So, okay, cool. Uh, so, uh, battle shock then. Uh, so my guys have the battle shock. Uh, their bravery is ten. They yeah, lost. Five. They lost five. So, so six, so. you lose one guy. Here we go. All right. So it's good. And uh, did I do anything to archers? No, I didn't. No. Okay. So that's uh, the end then of uh, Stormcast turn three. So Uh, so at the beginning in my hero phase, these guys restore D6 models because they have banner. Yep. Boom. <laughs> so they all come back. There you go, Chris. Thanks for coming out. <laughs> um, and uh, they're at full health, so they're not healing, and he gets to heal D3, I believe. Oh, I think it's D3. Let's just check there. Yes, yeah, so D3 wounds. Well, at least he's getting half of the wounds he's taking back. There he goes. He gets them both back. All right, uh, so he's going to use uh, his command ability. Uh, he actually can't use, so he's going to use an inspiring presence on these guys to make them immune to battle shock. I won't be able to do any wounds to them, so it won't matter. And uh, I just noticed that. <laughs> <laughs> he's going to cast Unholy Vitality on these guys yeah. on a six and cast nine. So you can deny, I think. Can you deny? Yeah, you're within eight, uh, 18, right? 18, yeah. Of the target or of the caster? Caster. The caster. Control. Ooh, just missed. Okay. So you've got that. And uh, we'll go on to movement okay. phase. Death, turn three, movement phase. Uh, he hasn't moved. These guys have shambled up max seven inches. Um, and uh, those uh, ghouls actually moved. Zombies. Uh, zombies actually moved and ran six. So they've managed to actually form a uh, protective circle around our objective here. <laughs> mighty, mighty 10 inch charge. On this 10 inch move on the zombies. 10 inch move on the zombies is shambling forwards. Uh, so my plan is, because I currently hold this, and it's turn three, and if I can clear off the wizard and four archers, I can hold that objective, and I can win the game. That's unlikely, because uh, this, if this guy was in it, he could he'd definitely do it, but uh, he's stuck with these archers unless I can shriek them somehow. If I roll a six on the shriek, that's going to be good. Um, so uh, my hero fa uh, movement phase is done. Uh, so on to shooting phase, so all I'm going to do is... Shriek those guys. Roll a six, you kill them all. Yep, here we go. Oh. <laughs> <You're> close though. <laughs> yeah, but now I'm stuck like with one archer on one wound. You should kill him. It's painful. Um, okay, so that's the end of my shooting phase, so I'm into charges. So, zombies are gonna declare a charge. Uh, no, sorry, uh, Crypt Horror is gonna declare a charge. Six, that doesn't get them anywhere. No. No, too bad. Okay, no, so combat here. Uh, just gonna kill this guy. Ghoul King, five attacks. 
All misses. Three plus. That's one. Minus one wind. Ooh. Saves. Okay, four from the... See, I already remember the numbers now. Four skeletal we claws. <laughs> Once you learn your army, it's much easier because... Wound. Good. It's only rend one, right? Or is that the rend two? Uh, that's the rend, uh, that's the rend one. Okay. It's the next one is the rend two, I believe. Uh, yeah, ne next one is minus two rend. Three attacks. This is the one that's gonna kill him. This is the maw. Two. Oh. Just one. one. Minus two rend. Yeah, he's oh, dead. He's dead. He's six, yeah. I don't get to consolidate 14 inches. No, no. You get to do nothing. <laughs> okay, but well, that's the end of my turn. So now we go on to turn four. So now it's turn four. So let's Storm see cast. who has priority. Let's see if Daring get the double turn for the second time. If I get a double turn, I think this game is over. Here we go. No, well, because you'll get your turn, then I'll get mine. Oh, it's not like, instantly I win if I get both objectives? We'll double check. I think it's the end of the, the battle round. Okay. Ah. Uh, uh, yeah, so I'm going to make them immune to battle shock. Okay. I'm gonna do D3, oh. You're gonna try to do D3. D3 mortal wounds on them. Arcane bolts. Goes off on an eight. Eight. Can I deny? Oh yeah, most likely. You could last turn. Yeah, okay. One mortal wound. So I get my deathless, and then I get my vitality. All right, so uh, those guys have moved up over there, and the zombies are about to take some impacts. I think they'll survive. I think they'll survive. <laughs> yeah, so I'm just going to do shooting. Okay. Back into of archers. Into your ghoul king. Okay, king. Regular dudes. Three hits. Come on, boys. Sergeant. Hits. He does. Six. This is the turn I was waiting for. <laughs> Way too soon, man. <gasps> oh! Six saves on him! Which is rend one, so five up. Five up. Uh, if that, that, does that apply? He's within range of general. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, but uh, I don't get the Unholy Vitality's turn, because I put it on those guys. Okay. Five up, five up. Jerk. Three wounds. Three wounds, alright. The other unit will shoot as well. Woo! And then the Sergeant hits. He does cocked. Three. Two! Another one. Can't heal back up to full strength. Mm -hmm. I don't know why that did. Okay, they're going to shoot your zombies. All right. Two regular dudes in the back unit. I'll just do them together because it doesn't matter. Sure. Is that cool? Yeah, it's so all four one. Four regular hit. dudes. Two heads. Nothing. Oh. And then four shots from the tridents. Three hits. Three plus. Oh, two dead zombies. <laughs> okay. Oh, that's okay. it? That's both units? That's everything! Oh, shit. That's, that's everything. <laughs> shit. My shooting's not going my way this game. Okay, uh, so, so here's what the zombies are doing. They're like... Yeah, nothing. He's like... <laughs> I'm like throwing lightning bolts at him. The zombies are like, ah, oh, this doesn't matter. Um, okay, charge both units. This unit. 3d6, sorry. And the other unit. Three yeah, they're both in. Nice. Okay. Uh, we'll move them in and uh, get back for the first round of combat. Here we go. So, uh... So one of these guys. I'm gonna activate the unit by the objective first. The regular guys, four plus, four plus, one wound. One wound, one guy dead. Yep. All right. Um, the sergeant in that unit, four plus. No, <gasps> oh, he missed it. Okay. Okay. And then you go with your zombies. I get to go, eh? Okay. I'm gonna have to move my guys three inches and figure out how many attacks I got. Okay. So uh, we've figured it out. Seven guys can attack these dudes. And five dudes can attack these guys. And because I have more than 20 models, I get uh, plus two to my hit and, w hit and wound. So I'm doing four plus four plus. Here we go. And four plus and nothing. And these five guys, four plus four plus, just one and nothing. The fairies survive. Okay. Uh, so... Battle Shock. Your zombies uh, lost two. Battle Shock, yeah. And they can't fail it. They can't fail it. Okay. So in hero phase, these guys will heal D6. Here we go. Three or more to get me back to full strength. And I can put them anywhere, right? Yep. Like, I can even put them straight into combat? Yep. Okay, let's reinforce these guys. Now it's even. 
You can't put them anywhere, but you know, anywhere reasonable within range. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay. I don't know if I have to be specific with, with <laughs> what I'm saying. Uh, D3 back on the Terror Geist. Just one. So, but that does bring him into the upper bracket again. Okay, uh, hero phase. So uh, he's going to uh, give them, I mean, the battle shock again, and he's going to cast unholy vitality on them, and it fit. goes off on a seven. Want the nine? No. No. Yeah, my movement phase. The terror guys has moved around there. Uh, he didn't have enough movement to fly to the other side of these guys, unfortunately. So, and the Cryptors have moved up and onto this rock, so we can kind of, if we get enough charge, we can move around the outside and engage those. That movement seven's there. huge, man. Cause yeah. Like, like, it let me get right up onto the top of that hill. Yeah, right? five? Oh, yeah. Like, that's yeah. crazy. So, uh... My movement five means I can't even get up there. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, so cool, and uh, these guys are stuck here so they can't move. So I'm going to do uh, shooting now. I'm going to do my death shriek on the uh, little uh, little dude here over there with the flaming staff. So here we go. 6 plus d6 because I'm back to full strength. Sorry, wrong way on the zoom. Here we go. Uh, 7. Just takes 1. Just takes 1. How many is it? I already said that. Alright, charge on the uh, king. 2 fails. Uh, yeah, because... Because you're you three inches away by damage. default, yeah. You have to be the, that's the only thing that fails. Yeah, that's just too bad. And, uh, Cryptors. So they get seven. So I think that gets me around. So first round, I'm going to activate my ghouls first, actually. They're back zombies. up to full zombies. strength. Zombies! Ugh. They're back up to full strength, so they're actually going to be three plus, three plus. They've piled all these people in as best I can. And so I'm 11 on each side now. So I've got all my dice ready here. 11 attacks, three plus, three plus. Yeah. This is why my next list has just all the songs in the world. Alright, three plus again. Oh, that's pretty good. That's five. five saves. No rends or anything. Doesn't matter, my armor's not that great. Oh. Um, Neither are your rolls. So I'll take three wounds. Alright. And these guys now. Eleven. Three plus, three plus. I think I was doing on the odds. That's another five more. Okay, my two regular guys are toasted. Okay, so who are you going with next? Who am I going to go with next? Well, I'm obviously not going to go with the with anything fighting zombies. No? No, because I can do that. <laughs> Come on. So I'm actually going to activate. Actually, Darren, you. So you rolled snake eyes? Yeah. Oh, I guess you would have had to I would have had to be three, okay. yeah. Yeah, yeah. What do you reckon? We'll do this unit first. Okay. Come on, boys! Nothing. Now you may activate. Okay. Uh, so I'm going to do so. Well, I guess you have the one unit left. Yeah, to can these guys get anywhere from piling? Um, well, they can like kind of, they can't Halfway really down the down. hill. So we'll just say next time they can get in all the way in? Well, they'd have to go like a full six. Oh, so they're stuck up there? I would say like, yeah, by the end of the game, they're, they're probably, well, they're not stuck. We'll just put them down. Could they then, yeah. be graphically climbing down for one round? Is that how it works? It's or not really, really are stuck? it's not really clear. Um, the whole terrain rules aren't, it's like you move as is. Like, maybe we should have defined this side as, like, impassable for next time. Okay. But that kind of makes sense. I'm okay with it the way it is. Um, okay. Yeah, we'll just do, like, you're, you're, like, in the process of climbing down. All right. So, I guess this this Haunter and one other guy can hit that back unit? Yep. And then one, two, three, four, five guys on this front unit? Yep. Okay. So, the Haunter has four attacks and the other guy has three attacks. Yep. So, they're going to hit the back unit. And hitting on fours with three rolls. Oh, nice. Wounding on threes. So that's uh, six wounds, no rend. Um, so it's, that becomes eight wounds. So yeah. Okay, and then the front guys want to do for five. So that's three, 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 three. Sorry, ghoulies. All right, hitting on fours with re rolls. Yeah, re roll those two dice. Okay, just roll them again. Those two just didn't work. Re roll the hit, right? Yep. 
That's a lot of fives. Look at that. Well, you hit on fours, right? Yeah. But it is a lot of fives. Like all the same number. It's just striking. Deep striking. Oh. All right. Uni on threes. All right. Uh, so these are double. I forgot about that. These do three wounds. Yeah. Okay. One of those goes through. Just three. Yep. And then five. So two, four, six, seven, eight, nine. So I have one wound left on one dude. All right. Yeah, I can't remember who rolling six on the last guy. Uh, okay. Your turn. With that one dude at the back, I guess. Yeah. Nope. Okay, and these guys. Okay, so the two trident guys. Nothing. The other guy. Nothing. Battle shock phase. Uh, this back unit of archers. Uh, so we lost four guys, so he's good. Mm -hmm. The front guy. Uh, yeah, so he would lo he lost four as well, so he blows up. Okay. And then These guys. Uh, that solo dude, he lost two, so he dies. And the other unit, they're good, because then they lost one. Battleshock can be pretty deadly. Yeah, it's very deadly. Wait, who was immune to Battleshock? Who was immune? You? Yeah. No, I casted a spell. Oh, yeah, I made a unit. Yeah, it was yeah. that archer right, right there, right? It was the front unit. Yeah, yeah. so you got that guy. Yeah, back. thank you, Darren. I forgot. I need tokens. Yeah, I need to invest in tokens. Like something that goes up to 14, I guess, ideally. <laughs> I don't need to make something like that. So now I believe... So that was the end of death turn four. Yeah. So now we roll. Because it's turn five. Yeah. Okay. I'll let you roll that one. The drama. Roll one. Five. Uh, it's game over. Okay, so uh, hero phase. Uh, I didn't lose any guys here, right? So they don't get anything back. So D3 on the terror guys, he gets two wounds back. Uh, my horrors didn't lose any wounds, right? Okay, so uh, he will cast for what it's worth, Unholy Vitality on the horse. Eight. If you want to try and deny. No. No. Okay. And because you uh, do have to beat it, we looked yeah. it up. Just yeah, we looked it up. We thought it was you had to beat it. We just wanted to confirm because we don't right. want to be wrong on the internet. You definitely don't want to be wrong on the internet. <laughs> and then uh, he's going to use uh, his command ability to give them immunity to battle shock. Okay. <laughs> Straight into death shriek on this uh, You're gonna just mage dude. Okay. So uh, I'm bravery six. I have five wounds left. Yeah. So you have to roll five to kill me. There we go. Because I gave him the extra wound at the start of the game. Yeah, there we bonus. go. Four. Oh. Good thing I took that ability. <laughs> oh. Because now it's like I have one wound left. Yeah. Okay. Good so thing. charge terror guys is in. Oh, and he would have been able to go right through. Yeah. So this wizard saying. is worth his life. So I piled in as much as I can. I only got up to twelve guys. So twelve guys hitting on threes and wounding on threes. Here we go. And wounding on threes. Pretty good. That's four. One wound. All right. Your turn. My turn? Wow. Okay, I'm gonna activate my wizard. All right. Oh, I think he actually has two attacks, or one. It's right here, handy dandy. Uh, one, four, three. Oh, wizard, why couldn't you hit? <laughs> why couldn't you hit? Fluff. Okay, uh, horrors are going in, so we'll pile them in three if you can for me, Chris. Yeah. So I think that'll get two more guys in, right? Yeah. Okay, so I got two guys on that back unit and three guys on the front unit. Yep. Okay, and the haunt is in the front unit, of back unit. So that's two guys, fours with re rolls. Just remember to pull your sixes out this time. We forgot yeah, to do it. We forgot to do it last time, yeah. Well, on some of the units. So that's one. So I'll make a save for the six. I do. Okay, and three more. Guys. <laughs> All right, front guy, three guys. Oh, I need you to whiffle bat this one. Okay, fours. So that uh, crypt horror formation that lets you reroll even if you're not within. It's pretty good. Fifteen is pretty good. Yeah. Rerolls are always really good in any game. Particularly good in AOS, it seems, because. Uh, well, 
I don't know. It. All right, one six. I think in any game, three and six. Good. All right, that's the end of those guys. And uh, your attack back, I presume. Yeah. Missed. Okay. I didn't, yeah, they're didn't in, even catch that. Fours in combat. All right, Ghoul King. I roll fast. It's my three plus. That's one minus one. Rent. Oh, so I just hit. I just die. All right. He's a six up. <laughs> I was wrong for a six. Okay, so uh, Battle Shock. Over there. Two. So he sticks. So it's my last turn of the game. It's your last. Go for I have it. no command abilities to do, so I just want to measure how far is six inches away. Like so you need, six inches you is retreat, to right? Because I'm thinking if I can retreat and get to there, I'm more than three inches away from you. I'm within six of the objective, and then the game's over. Do you have to move in a straight line when you retreat? Uh, no, but. Um, we'll double check the retreat rules and come back. Because okay, so we looked it up and... So this is, I just want to read this out because I know that this is going to be seen as like a very cheesy tactic. And, uh, but it's legit one that I think has ruined a lot. Like, it's not ruined, but it's uh, spoiled a lot of people's victories. Um, basically, units starting in the movement phase within 3 inches of an enemy unit can either remain stationary or retreat. If you choose to retreat, the unit must end its move more than 3 inches away from all enemy units. If a unit retreats, then it can't shoot or charge later that turn. It can still run though. So yeah. he has a 12 inch move. So I'm going to retreat. I'm going to run plus four. So he's going to move 12, 16 yeah. inches. So you can land right here. And I can land like right there. Yeah, and you'll be within six of that. And bang. And then so the way that this mission works is at the end of turn five, whoever has six or full, five or more models within six inches of an objective and no enemy units of any kind yeah. wins. And so the way that ITC does it is it's like, a, that'd be a major win. So right now, Darren has controlled that objective and that one's contested. Yep. So nobody has a major win. And then the Meyer win goes to victory points. And you've not killed any of my models. <laughs> <laughs> you have a thousand points. <laughs> I have 80 left alive. So you win a minor victory. That one dude is 80 or it counts the whole unit? Uh, the, well, the whole unit's 80. Oh. And so, you, so you don't count this as... And I believe it's completely destroyed, but okay. in this case, it's yeah, a wash. It doesn't, it doesn't matter. matter. But, but it's a, that would be a minor victory to Darren. All right, cool. So, Darren, what did you think of your first Age of Sigma? Yeah, it's, it's really fun. It was slowed down by just me not knowing the numbers. But even by turn three, turn four, I was starting to remember the numbers. Especially in a small game where I only have three different units. Well, that's um, what I did intentionally. So when I built Darren's list... Yeah is I didn't want more than three war scrolls. I didn't want more than like one spell. Just because like, it's like, I, I didn't want it like, even for my own army, I didn't take more than one simple character because in a demo or an intro game, it's just too many rules, too much going on, too yeah. many buffs. And I wanted you to understand everything yeah. that's coming at and you. And I think that's where 40K suffers for new people is no matter how simple you make it, even kill team, there's still rules. There's yeah. so many rules, like all the same rules. So, so yeah, no, it's really good. Uh, it's quite fun. I can see you could play a game like this, and if you're two experienced players, in like an hour probably. Yeah, well, we ran a tournament, two thousand points, uh, two hours, fifteen minute rounds, and everybody but Caleb finished on time with with like time to spare. Was he playing with a hundred Ushapti? <laughs> he's, he's playing with archers, <laughs> but even he got faster by the end of the tournament. Yeah. He was able to pound out games. Yeah. But um, no, it's definitely. The thousand point was an hour, and so we've been filming an hour and a half. Yeah. So that's like a, a thousand points is an hour, just like yeah. it says in the general handbook. And we are fairly new. Yeah. We could probably bang out three of these in a day, thousand point games, easy yeah. next time. Yeah. Okay. Well, thanks very much uh, for watching our first AOS game uh, battle report. Well, uh, for the new season. For we've the done new them season. Back yeah. in the day, but since the general's handbook launched, this is the it's first. It's a one. new beginning, a new and, hope. <laughs> and I'm not so. These are both my armies right now. Um, that's why we have square bases, but Darren yeah. has a round based undead army in yeah. his building, yeah. which will be on the channel soon. And I am actually in the process of rebasing this undead army. So we'll have a lot of undead and order stuff coming at you yeah. pretty soon. And my next army is probably going to be d destruction since none of us seem to play destruction. So. Yeah, I have a bunch of destruction stuff too. We, yeah. can, work, we can work some out. All right, cool. So uh, if you like what you see here, then please uh, subscribe to us on the YouTube channel here. Give us a thumbs up. Yep. You can follow us. Uh, our website is www.canhammer.ca. We're also on facebook.com forward slash canhammer. 
Uh, if you and we're on Instagram at canhammer underscore yt. And we should make a note that on Facebook and, and Instagram we all share it. Yeah. Because I think some people think it's me just doing like like ten units a day. It's not. There's like, there's like four of us. <laughs> but sharing. it's believable. That's the it's thing. <laughs> so. Um, yeah. So we all share the Instagram and the Facebook. But uh, and uh, if you really like what you see and you want to help support us, then please uh, pop over to patreon.com forward slash canhammer and. Be and uh, please join us again here at Can Hammer, your source for Age of Sigmar from the Great White North.